everybody. I hope you're having a fabulous day. We are moving on with part number two for my monthly um, empties series. I don't want to say empties because it's not just empties. It's stuff I've been using, um, some stuff I've been loving. I just kind of set aside so I could talk to you guys about it. And this is more of the household series. So I already published yesterday my part one, which was the beauty stuff. Today is household. So I can't tell you <clears throat> how many boxes of Tide I've been through in October. It seemed like, you know, with having to wash jackets and bedding and towels and just our regular laundry, um, we've used a lot. This is the Mountain Spring one. There are no coupons in this box, um, but I've been using a lot of Tide here lately just to, you know, get the winter stuff washed, get the gloves and the scarves and coats and jackets. All that kind of stuff needs to be washed. I've also been washing my heavier bedding um, that is going on the beds. I'm washing my spring bedding that is coming off the beds. Um, and I've been using a lot, a lot of Tide. In addition to Tide, I have also been using some of this, I don't know, what's it called? LA's Totally Awesome Power Clean Oxygen Base Cleaner. Chlorine Free. I get them at the dollar store. I think they're just like a dollar. And I normally use these for tennis shoes. That like I have a load um, that I washed yesterday of Jackson's tennis shoes and some throw rugs. I usually throw maybe two or three scoops of this in. The dog's bed, I throw some of this in. I just put this in with stuff that need a little bit extra. Um, and I think it works pretty good. I haven't had any problems. All the stains come out of everything. And... Yeah, I just pick it up at my local dollar store. Like, the everything's a dollar, that one. We lost a fish yesterday, um, which is our big black goldfish. He was beautiful, about this big, and we named him President Obama. Um, he was kind of like the president of the tank. And there was this alligator head, and it's like a skull in the bottom of Jackson's fish tank. Like, you know, like for decoration. He liked to go in there, but he had gotten so big that the last time he went in there, we were able to get him out, but he scraped all of the spins off. He looked, he had like raw spots on him. Well, we got him all healed up and he was doing wonderful until last night or the night before last. Um, he went back into that skull, got stuck and died. So our black goldfish turned white and Scott and Jackson took care of it um, in the morning, but we have been buying a lot of goldfish food and this Tetra brand seems to be what works the best. Um, it does say it has a clean and clear water formula, but if you know anything about goldfish, the water is hardly ever clear um, unless you're cleaning it. Goldfish are really messy. But we still have fish, and we will probably have to replace a few. And um, we have another big one of these upstairs. This is the one Scott goes for. He always buys the goldfish food normally. Oh, back to laundry. So, even though I'm using the Tide, I still love these BioSera wash balls. I have a review up. I'll put it below. But this is a wonderful system to clean your laundry without any soap. I still am addicted to laundry soap. I cannot give it up completely. These work for towels well. They work, they work for clothes well, too. They work for anything. But I tend to use them more for towels, blankets, sheets. Um, they have little beads in them. They're nice. You can check out my other review for that on those. But they still are good and I've used them. Back to pets now. I can't tell you how many containers of Tidy Cat litter we have gone through this month. We have all the kittens here. We have quite a few cats. And this is like one of our biggest investments um, that we make every week is litter and cat food. So... Um, this one has the Glade um, for tough odor solutions mixed in with it. Um, these are great. They do absorb a lot of the smell. They scoop easily. If you're training kittens, though, don't start off with scoopable litter. They tend to eat it when they're first um, learning to use the box. And if it clumps in their stomach, it can kill them. But for the older cats and their boxes, and now the kittens know not to eat the litter, so they can use that clumping litter. But... In the beginning, we were just putting them in the big cat boxes and keeping the little cats separate. Um, more laundry stuff I used up. 
I used up one of these Downy Unstoppables, and this is just a sample. It smells so good. It smells good now. This one is in fresh. I used up a Tide with Febreze sample. I also used up a Purex um, Ultra Packet sample. I, you know, I love the Tide and I love the Downy. The Purex was okay. I didn't really care for the um, Mountain Breeze scent, but it was okay, and I used it in towels. Um, but yeah, really needed. I was out of laundry soap the day I used these, and um, I was happy I had them, and they all worked great. Okay, moving on. I want to talk to you a little bit about the um, Duracell rechargeable batteries. They come with like this green on the outside to show that they are rechargeable. Now, I use my Canon um, handheld camera for vlogging most of the time, and that takes double A's. Um, I love these, and I have a charger. I always have batteries on it. I think I have six sets, 12 batteries, of the rechargeables because I never want to run out. You know, you're a vlogger and a blogger and a YouTuber. You need your camera with you almost at all times. So I have a set of these in my car, in my purse, in my um, office in a basket that stays on the first floor. I also have a set that stays, you know, that I rotate in and out of the camera. I have a set in my nightstand, and I have a set in my camera bag. So, I invested in these because I really use the hell out of my camera. And I got the little charger that goes into the wall, and I am so happy that I did that because I've had these, I don't know, two or three months now. They charge up great. They last me almost all day. They say that they will last a year, and um, I bet they do. And it's such a great investment to make, especially if you're a YouTuber, a blogger, um, somebody who uses a camera that runs on batteries. They have them in all different sizes, but they are a lifesaver. I am very happy that I made the switch and just started doing the rechargeable, and it's better for the planet. I don't know what's going on, but the dogs are going nuts outside. More household stuff. So, this has been my handy dandy feather um, duster for a long time now. I believe I got it at Walmart. It's so fluffy and pretty. I love it. Um, but this one I use like almost every day. It's starting to get a little bit dirty and you can't really wash them. At least not this one, even though it comes like on this plastic handle. You can't really wash them. I'm sure I'll b probably use it till I'm guessing January and then come January I'm going to buy another one. This is great for ceiling fans, for getting in those tight little areas you can't reach. I think every house needs a feather duster. Now do I think that it works wonderfully? No. I remember my grandmother using a rag and like the plunge. I still do that. But in between times that I'm doing that, this really helps. Now, we have a lot of cats and dog hair, and um, we're always dealing with the hair. Um, but this, I spray just a tad bit of, like, pledge on it, where it just gets barely damp. Barely. You don't want to, like, load it up with it or to be too wet and smear everything. But, you know, wave it around a few times after just to dry it a little bit. And then that really helps to pick up the dust and particles. I just think everybody needs a feather duster. I was using it the other day and I realized how often this comes out. It comes off out like three times a week, if not more. And I had to tell you guys about it because it's something that I really, really use. And if you don't have one, you're just making your life harder and trying to clean your house. This will work like a charm. Another thing that works like a charm are the Lieberman mops. They're the mops that um, has that plastic thing that comes down you turn it these are re rewashable uh, mop heads and I just replaced one and I tore it up so I had to buy a new one and here it is um, I tore it up because there was like some stuff really hard on the floor and I like, took my I, I moved this and I took my shoe and I'm rubbing my floor with it and it pulled a whole bunch of these out so don't do that but these are so nice, and you can toss this right in the washer. And I think it's wonderful whenever you have a mop that allows you not to get your hands in that dirty water. And also a mop head that you can rewash. 
I remember using those like sponge things years ago. Mm -mm. This is where it's at. These are so nice. So you can pick one up at your local Walmart for next to nothing. I don't remember. I, mean, I think it's like $10 or less. I don't know. It's been a long time. And you can buy these um, replacements for really cheap too. And again, you can just toss them in your washer. I wash them probably four or five, maybe six times, and then I replace it. For dogs and pet stuff, we let Cooper have his um, beneficial pack that came in the mail for him. Came with all kinds of yummy goodies, including this beneficial Healthy Smile dog food, this light and healthy dog food. Cooper really liked the Healthy Smile. He ate it up with no problem. This one he let sit in the bowl a little bit longer. This is the light and healthy. Can't say I blame him there. But he did like the Healthy Smile. This one has um, um, Smile Bites and other country, other crunchy kibble to help clean teeth and freshen breath. And he really likes the Beneful brand. One thing I do like though is that it's got a coupon right here. So I'll def that's why I saved it. And um, the, they have dog trees. What were they called? Um, let me see. They were the Beneful Healthy Smile Ridges and um, one was um, in beef and one was in garden. They came in these little packages like that. See them? And he loved them. So I'm sure we'll get some for him next time we go to the store to stock up on dog stuff. Okay, I think the rest is food. Well, no. So I, I wanted to go over Netflix for a minute. I know we've all heard of Netflix and I never really cared for Netflix because I didn't think the movies came out fast enough. But I have um, an expensive movie habit. I rent a lot of movies off our TV and um, it makes our bill go up really high. And, you know, my husband watches 90% of them with me. But we do. We like our movies. But we've been trying out Netflix just to lower that bill a little bit. Um, and I'm shockingly surprised at the movie range that I'm finding, the shows that I'm enjoying on there. And I just wanted to give a shout out to Netflix because it has been helping reduce my my cable bill. And um, they were great about sending me another copy of a broken movie plus an extra out of my critique. And um, I've been totally enjoying it. So happy with Netflix. I used up one of these olive oils. And this is the big jug. Um, and, um, you know, olive oil is a wonderful oil to cook with. Um, I can't really bake with it. But, I mean, I guess you could if you had to. But um, it's wonderful for vegetables and so many other things. It's even wonderful for your skin and your nails. Um, there's so many uses you can use olive oil for. So I think every kitchen should have a big bottle. I like this one, too. It says for sautéing and grilling. It's the... Uh, Filippo Briello. 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 I don't know. Okay, another item I've been enjoying. Now, this is a new one that I haven't opened, but I have been drinking them. Is this Sparkling Ice. And this one is in pink grapefruit. It's a naturally flavored sparkling mountain spring water with zero calories. It has vitamins and antioxidants in it. This one is my favorite. I really like this flavor of grapefruit. And I've had it with my breakfast quite a few times, and um, it's actually really yummy. So, definitely give that a shot. They have different ones. I don't remember um, the other flavors. I'll look in the store and let you know if you really want to know. But I found this at my local grocery store. That's what it looks like. Sorry about the glare. It's really yummy. And I've almost ate up this box of the organic, raw, pure and simple by Better Oats oatmeal. Multi-grain hot cereal with flaxseed. It's basically oatmeal with flaxseed. And um, it's made with 100% um, whole grain. You use the package and the measuring cup too, which is pretty cool. You just fill, it tells you right here, you just fill it to um, with water that line love that and um, let's see what else does it say it has a it's a good source of omega-3 um, 
It's got this space saving packaging, it says. And um, you can use milk or water, as with all oatmeal. And it says that this is a better way to eat. Um, I really like it. It has 40 grams of whole grain per serving. It contains 200 milligrams of omega-3, oats, bar oats, barley, quintoa, rye, rye, and wheat. A good source of fiber protein. And this is really yummy. And um, I like that it's organic. I like that it has flaxseed in it. I just put a little butter and a little bit of sugar. I know that kind of takes away a little bit. But... Um, it's a really nice oatmeal and it's made by Better Oats. Okay, um, this is kind of odd, but these Johnsonville, um, Better Cheddars, these sausages, are so yummy, you guys. My husband and I and Jackson, um, ate them up, like, in two or three days. We ate them for dinner one night and then we snacked on them for lunch. And they are so yummy, delicious, um, and they're just good. I'm going to have to get some more. So, if you see them, you probably would like them because they're real juicy, they're plump, they're not like cheap like a hot dog, they're just delicious. Another delicious item that I love are these Seneca, Seneca Crispy Apple Chips. Oh my gosh, these are good. Um, I've done a full review. I'll put that below, but I've been living on these this month. Um, it, I, I can't replace my potato chips in full, but these are a nice alternative. They're so yummy. They got the skin on them. You can just kind of see in the packaging. I'll put the link to the review. They're gluten-free. They're made from fresh apples, and they have such a good taste, and um, they're a really healthy snack. 140 calories um, per serving. One serving is 12 chips, so that ain't too many, but whatever. These are yummy, and I eat them a lot. They also have the caramel apple. They have a green apple. But this regular one, the original, is my absolute favorite. So the last few things I'm going to talk to you about are from the Spice and Tea Exchange in Madeira, Florida. So, here lately, I've really been enjoying their teas. This, these three seem to be my absolute favorites right now. This is a blueberry black tea. This one is a black chocolate tea. And this one is a mountain jasmine tea. Now, another thing um, that is nice is it says down here that it contains caffeine. Or, it has moderate caffeine in it. And the blueberry is to die for. I tend to drink the blueberry in the mornings a little bit more. I got a huge collection of tea. And it's really nice to be able to go open a cabinet or pull out, well, pull out a drawer, really. And find a delicious tea that you can enjoy anytime, day or night. This is the blueberry tea. And if you look closely... You should be able to see some of the blue from the blueberries. And it says that it's an organic black tea from China and it's mis mixed with luscious organic blueberries for a bold flavor combination that is delicious hot or served as a great iced tea. I've never had it cold. Except, you know, when it cooled down in my cup a little bit. It's just a wonderful tea. Oh, I'm, I love it. Jackson likes it too. He likes blueberry. The next one is the black chocolate tea. It's a very dark tea. Mmm. You see it? I think I've shown this on my vlogs before. This says it's a fine black tea. It's blended with rich chocolate for a flavorful and delicious combination, an exquisite dessert tea or afternoon treat. I tend to like it after dinner, um, especially if it's an earlier dinner. Um, it's like a great dessert tea, just like they said. Perfect dessert without you having to make anything fancy. And the last one is the Mountain Jasmine Tea. And it says, Jasmine Buds naturally scent um, the green tea leaves for a gentle perfume-like flavor. One of the nicest jasmine brews available. Oh, 
and this one is the moderate to moderate caffeine so it doesn't have as much um, because it's a green tea and I like this mostly late at night um, and jasmine just is such a beautiful scent and it really does um, do your body good so I've been enjoying all three of these I actually have one more thing to show you I've been enjoying all three of these they have wonderful teas I'll probably put an order in soon for some more the last thing I thought that was the last thing and I had something sitting right in front of my face are these Lance um, peanut butter graham cracker creations and we've been eating these a lot I'm gonna open one because I plan on eating one in here in just a little bit they come in a package like this I have a, some in my car right now because they're such a great treat and they're healthy um, for the most part I mean they're they got four grams of whole grain and they also have the chocolate graham crackers too they're just little graham crackers with peanut butter in between them see and they're such a yummy treat that um, I'm gonna have one for my afternoon snack today whenever I'm done with this video my husband likes these Jackson kind of likes them he's just not a big like crunchy fan but he does eat them and I think they're great to keep in your purse or keep in your car for those times of really wanting a snack quick and not having anything on hand these come in perfect so thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed part two of this series um, you know these are just products that I use that I enjoy that I've um, can really speak about because I've used them basically for the entire month off and on um, and over other periods of time also so I hope you've enjoyed this let me know if you've used anything like comment subscribe check out my blog at kjaggers.com there's always freebies on there and blog posts that you know are not YouTube videos and um, tons of pictures and more um, about our lives you can follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook all those links are below um, Pinterest and um, I hope to see you soon thanks again for watching bye bye